That key opens it right up. Freddy's tired, Dad. Maybe he can take a nap, Josh. It's way past his bedtime. He told me he's too scared to sleep. I'm scared, too. I know, Josh, but everything will be okay. I'll be there as soon as I can. Are you one of Malcolm's spies? Go away. Who are you? What do you want? I'm looking for my son, Joshua. You won't find him here, young man. I'm a friend. I don't believe you. Everyone here works for Malcolm. He is an evil man. Very clever. That's just what one of his spies would say. What can I do to convince you? Very well. I shall give you a chance. Malcolm has stolen many things from me. He keeps most of them hidden away, and some he has given to others. But one of them he keeps on display, knowing the pain it causes me. Bring me that item, and I will know you are not in league with him. It's black lacquer on walnut. Quite attractive. But it shows every speck of dust. They were given to me by my mother. M.M. Malcolm Metcalf? This locket was the gift of an unknown admirer to Miss Martin. Unknown admirer? It was my father. People suffering from paranoia frequently believe others intend to do them harm, and they devise elaborate defenses against these imagined onslaughts. Miss Martin, for example, always wore these gloves to prevent her enemies from poisoning her through the exposed skin of her hands. Ridiculous. I wore the gloves because I liked them. The inscription says, My dear Miss Martin, Earth has not anything to show more fair. Fond regards, Mark Kendall. I should have been worried from the start. The quotation he selected actually referred to some buildings. Do you want it back? I refuse to discuss that until you prove you are my ally by bringing me the other item we discussed. How will I know when I've found it? It's a secret. The item has special markings, but I won't tell you what they are. Yes, Oliver? Why would you do that? You are being unusually obtuse, Oliver. You should know the answer to that by now. What did you do to her? She is a classic paranoid schizophrenic. She suspects all authority figures are plotting against her. Her fears are groundless. Why did you allow these bizarre treatments? You know so little of my work. You are hardly in a position to criticize. Nevertheless, I will tell you that we had one of the highest cure rates in the country. That which you regard as bizarre was actually highly effective therapy. 
though not always for the reasons one would have anticipated. It's a Giuliano original. It's from the 1929 Paris exhibit. My eyes are failing. The glass makes it easier to read. Description reads, Meryl, this should keep you up a few nights. Love, Wendy. A gift from my sister. Her sense of humor can only be described as macabre. Just one minute, young man. How do I know that pot is mine? It matches your cups and saucers. Yes, but many pots look the same. There is something special about my coffee pot, and until you can tell me what it is, I refuse to believe you have truly carried out my request. Nothing in there. M.M. Malcolm Metcalf? Dickens. I find him wonderfully soporific. I love Poe. He's so mysterious. The inscription reads, Meryl, this should keep you up a few nights. Love, Wendy. A gift from my sister. Her sense of humor can only be described as macabre. It's Florentine leather. Just one minute, young man. How do I know that pot is mine? There are two M's on it. Yes, anyone can see that. Each period is really a small bird. You are correct. I have told no one here about this, so you must have learned it yourself. My maiden name was Meryl Martin. My mother named me for two of her favorite birds. When I married, she gave me this coffee set and said, You may change your name, but here's a small reminder that you will always be my little bird. Was he your husband? Is. He is my husband. But when I turned 50, he decided he wanted to trade me in on a younger model. He couldn't get a divorce without losing my money, so he cooked up a scheme to have me committed. He got Dr. Metcalf to go along, and so now he has his floozy and my money as well. Do you wonder why I'm bitter? Is that legal? Didn't you know? It's very easy to get someone committed involuntarily to a mental asylum. All it takes is two signatures and your rights are gone. Be careful, young man. This could happen to you. Can't someone get you out? Once you have been branded insane, the world looks at you differently. If you write letters, no one answers. If you make telephone calls, no one listens. Admit it. Even you aren't sure whether or not to believe me. Do you remember the ECT treatments? 
Oh, how could anyone forget? They would take you down to the basement and open the door with a key that looked as if it could unlock the Bastille. Then they shoved a piece of rubber in your mouth and attached some wires to your head. The orderlies would hold you down. Then the shock would come. Like a white hot steel bar behind your eyes. Ten dentists drilling on exposed nerves couldn't cause this much pain. Do you know anything about a secret room? I have some information that may help you. But first, I want you to help me. You've proven adept at recovering items that Malcolm has stolen from me. I would like you to recover the item that means more to me than anything else. It is a locket. It's hanging from the circuit board. I doubt that Malcolm would leave something so precious lying about in such a manner. Where do you think Malcolm hid the locket? There is a wall safe in Malcolm's office, behind the picture of his wife. There was a trick to opening it. He would press a certain spot on the frame. It would make a peculiar, hollow sound, and then the picture would swing open. I believe the locket is in there. Fancy. Hmm. Pretty handy for seeing if someone's sneaking up behind you. Doesn't look too useful. Huh, liquid eyeliner. Fancy.